Hello guys, this is Reed, Service TV, and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional, guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel, Nagpunta Rito Kagabi. Shout out to Shanti Biguapo, Anne Mustaho, Linda Obrador, B&J Cooking and Blog, Dins Max Kabigkis, Y Number 157, Mind PB, Y Laufe, Heart Ponsalan, Romel Ropero, Psyche Carion, Kim Chu, Cyril Cabato, Charlene Lee Obligar, Isai Racho, A Traveler, Grisel Aborita, Marabotit TV, Jeanette Saab, Cyril Aribato, Bebs I Know, Josh Travel and Tour, Anak Niang's TV, Rose Ann Villegas, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Melvin TV, Giga Arts, Young's TV, Guapong Minsahero, and Debs D. Villa. Okay guys, kumusta yung day natin? Hoping na nag-enjoy tayo. Kasi dito sa amin, very sunny na siya. Wala na yung bagyo. No? Praise God na hindi masyadong malala yung coast ng pinsala ng bagyo. Okay, let's now proceed to our devotional guys. Let's open our Bible to John chapter 12 verses 37 to 43. Still, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is simplified na maintintahan talaga natin yung words, no? Okay, this is about the Jews continue in their unbelief. Grabe, no? Unbelief pa rin. Okay, the word of the Lord in John 12, 37-43 says, Even after Jesus had done all this miraculous sign in their presence, they still would not believe in Him. Grabe, no? Unbelief talaga. It's really unbelief. Sana guys, hindi tayo ganyan. But all the more, we have to praise God. No, experience that one, yung miracle. And hindi pa rin mawala sa isip ko. Na sabi ko, Lord, gabi yung ginawa mo. And I always praise God about it. Okay? This was to fulfill the word of Isaiah, the prophet. Lord was believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed. For this reason, they could not believe because, as Isaiah says elsewhere, He has blinded their eyes and deadened their hearts, so they can neither see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts, nor turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw Jesus' glory and spoke about Him. Yet at the same time, many even among the leaders believe in him, but because of the Pharisees, they would not confess their faith, for fear they would not they would be put out of the synagogue, for they love praise from men more than praise from God. Amen and amen. Let's pray, guys. For God, <clears throat> means and Lord, we experience the same, O God. Now, although we already experienced miracle, but yet still we cannot believe that it happened. We sometimes consider it as a, a chance lang na nangyari sa amin. But we praise you because you have allowed us to experience your miracle many times, O Lord. Lord, means and Lord, natatakot kami sa mga tao na sa paligid namin. At hindi kami natatakot sa iyo. Na dapat ikaw ang kakatakutan. At hindi yung mga tao na nasa paligid namin. Father God, I pray to please bless all those who are here in this channel. Nanood, nakinig. May we all have focus on what you're going to say to us regarding your word. Bless each one's heart, O God. That we may all grow unto you, especially that we are now in the dark days. That we may totally depend unto you and cling on unto you. Lord, thank you that we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So guys, sorry. Parang <laughs> hindi yung ano ko kasi. Pa, irritation na uh, sa throat ko. Okay, so 
Our focus verse for this evening is found in John 12, 42, and it says, They would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear. Oh, kasi nga, yung mga parisis noon, they would not open their faith kasi natatakot sila na baka paalisin sila sa lugar na kung saan sila. Actually, the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Whatever the Cost. The film, Paul, Apostle of Christ, takes an unflinching look, look uh, at persecution in the early days of the church. Even the movie minor character revealed how dangerous it was to follow Jesus. Consider these rules listed in credits. Beaten woman, beaten man, Christian victim, one, two, and three. Identifying with Christ often come at a high cost. And in much of the worlds, it's still dangerous to follow Jesus. Many in the church today can relate to that kind of persecution. Some of us, however, may feel persecuted, prematurely outraged any time our faith is mocked, or we suspect we were passed ever for promotion because of our belief. Obviously, there's a colossal difference between sacrificing social and sacrificing our lives. Realistically, though self-interest, financial stability, and social acceptance have always been intense human motivation, and that's true, and I agree with that. We see this in the action of some Jesus' earliest converts. The Apostle John reports that mere days before Jesus' crucifixion, although most Israelites were still rejecting him, many even among the leaders believed. However, they would not openly acknowledge their faith, for they love human praise more than praise from God. Oh, ano? Gusto natin yung pag mga ano, may mga birthday, tayo yung pinaka-importante yung bisita, no? tayo yung mabigyan ng priority. Bakit kaya tayo ganyan, no? Okay. Today, we still face societal pressure and words to keep our faith in Christ hidden. Whatever the cost, let's stand together as a people who seek God's approval more than human praise. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, I really experienced that thing, though, na, uh, the time I decided to become a missionary, I was in a position na for managerial na yun sa isang multinational company but wala I really choose to go and serve God in the mission and nung nasa mission ako I realized na the job offer na binigay sa akin could not also pay this much sa pagmi-mission ko kasi sabi ko ha Lord ito pala yung mission no? That was the miracle na ano. Ito pala yung mission mo na ibibigay mo sa akin. Akala ko pupunta ako ng mga bundok para mag-share. Pero hindi, iba pala yung mission ko. No? Social pala yung pagiging missionary ko. I always travel by plane. Uh, jet setter ako no? because I traveled around. No? <laughs> Competing around the world na. No? So yun, I sacrificed myself. And then, that's one thing na hindi ko talaga makalimutan. I experienced the grace of God na very abundant talaga yung ano, yung kung andyan ka na kay Lord. I also experienced na mas kay mabili lang ng chinelas, I still have to pray for it. No? Yung nga, may plano ka but it is the Lord's will ang masusunod pa rin. No? Okay, so let's now proceed to the two questions. We might be tempted to judge the early believers who hid their faith, but are we any different? Yes, no, wala talagang, there's no difference guys, because if this happened to them before, I know, it also happens to us today. Tinatago pa rin natin, kasi nahihiya tayo, no? Yeah, I also experienced yung, uh, I mock yung ano, yung mga nag-pre-preach sa, sa streets, sabi ko, pakaingay naman yan, no? Pero, I experienced that one. Not here in the Philippines, but other countries. And I also experienced being mocked. No? So, yun. But still, I did not 
uh, uh, discouraged myself about that. No? I was not discouraged about the situation, but instead, I encouraged myself more. Okay, number two question. Are there times we choose to be quiet so we can hide our identification with Jesus? Iba ang quiet ko, guys. Uh, many times, I, I'm not hiding my relationship with God. I'm so open, kaya nga ako nandito sa YouTube ngayon eh. Kasi hindi na ako masyado nakaka-preach ng words sa mga churches. Kasi usually iniimbita ako ng mga churches to, to preach. Pero ngayon, I'm using this uh, YouTube for me to share God's words. Not preaching, but it's just sharing all the word for meditation. I'm not uh, keeping myself to be quiet about God, but I keep myself quiet when I pray. No? When I pray. So yun lang. Yun yung ginagawa ko. No? Okay guys, so let's now pray. Father God, I want and we want to be a close friend of yours. That's our desire, okay? Especially that we are now in the heart in world. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's be serious with our relationship with God. You know? We are now in the dark world. Very chaos na yung world natin. Guys, thank you for coming. Lalo lalo na sa mga bago dyan. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Para updated kayo kung ano yung nangyayari sa channel na Ritz TV. Regularly come to this devotional at 8 o'clock in the evening. That's every day. God bless us all guys because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Ritz of Ritz TV. Kita-kita tayo muli tanggal sa muli. Paalam!